Hello, here we are for part 5 of lecture 21 of CENG 4412 Steel and Concrete Design. I want to continue and in this video discuss uh, bolt space requirements for uh, bolted steel connections. Okay, so this is going to be another brief video, that's okay. These are all going to be fairly short, uh, covering these in a series of shorter uh, bite-sized chunks. So let's look at hole spacing. Uh, hole spacing. And these are requirements that you need to check when you are designing uh, bolted steel connections. Hole spacing requirements. Uh, so let's just show it. Let's say I have a plate here. Oh, that's not right. That's not right either. Man, I'm having trouble tonight. And there we go. Let's get the right color, and we're good. Let's say we have a plate, and it's being pulled like this. The edge of the plate is here. It continues on in some direction, some distance, like this. And I'm pulling on this with a load P here. Then let's say there are two holes here uh, and here. Now there are going to be a few uh, requirements that I uh, a few dimensions that I want to lay out. First, I'm going to label two different L sub C's. Again, these are what I call clear distances. L C one from here to here. L C from here to here. This would be uh, from the edge of the plate to the edge of the bolt hole, and then a, another one L C from an edge to edge distance of the bolts. So this would be LC and L sub C. And then let's say I have the centers of the bolts here and here, coming down here and here. Uh, the L sub, what I'm going to call L sub E, the edge distance. Uh, let's see here. L sub E is the edge distance. Oh, that looks really bad. L sub E, the edge distance, and then S, lowercase s, the spacing, the bolt spacing. Okay, so again we have L sub C is a clear distance. And this just means the clear length of steel that I have along one particular dimension. Uh, L E is the actual edge distance. Uh, distance or edge length uh, from center of bolt hole, uh, center of bolt to edge of plate. And when I say edge of plate, I mean uh, along the axis of loading. So I don't mean like L sub E doesn't mean from here to here, for example. It means it's always along the length of loading, along the direction of loading uh, to edge of plate. And we also have S, which is just simply the center to center spacing. The C to C uh, bolt spacing. Okay, now we have a few spacing requirements. And these spacing requirements are built into the code. These meet, these are, uh, these take into account a variety of things. These are not a substitute for overall strength checks. These are just a, baked into these is a lot of things. This is, some of this is strength. Some of this is just common good design practice. Some of this is constructability. Uh, some of it is, uh, well, if you think about this, you need to put your bolts far enough apart that you can actually get a wrench in there. I mean, this, some, this, is, this stuff actually has to be built by human hands. Uh, we can design this on a piece of paper, but ultimately, but ultimately these things do have to be built by human beings. And so, uh, in turn, we need to actually be, we need to have some guidelines on geometry that go beyond even just draw strength requirements. So some of these are just basically industry standards. Some of these come down to constructability. Some of them are strength, but just all of these are lumped together into spacing requirements in chapter J of the AISC manual. Okay, so uh, first, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's look at L sub C, the clear distance. Uh, let me go here. For edge bolts, and edge bolts would be the bolts uh, 
uh, well, this would be an interior bolt, this would be an edge bolt. Uh, so for edge bolts, L sub C is going to be equal to LE minus H over two. And I'll explain what H means in a second. And for other, basically interior bolts, other, L sub C is equal to S minus H. Again, just ways of calculating the clear distance or clear le length, but I think of it in terms of clear distance. And where H is equal to the whole diameter. And whole diameter is not exactly equal to uh, the uh, bolt diameter, as we learned in, in the first unit here. Uh, we're going to use this being equal to, this is equal to D plus 1 over 16th inch. Now, you remember when we were dealing with uh, strength design, we said it was plus 1 eighth, but that was plus 1 16th, well, plus an extra 1 16th to deal with damage. This is dealing with just the uh, as prescribed whole diameter. So this is the D here is the bolt diameter, the nominal bolt diameter. And this stuff here, this here, uh, let me give some little annotations. Uh, this is described, let's see, uh, in the code. This is described in table J 3.3, nominal whole dimensions. Uh, here, and then here, Let's see. Now, if you look at the requirement for minimum edge distance here, uh, this is described in table J3.4, but we'll see that shortly. And so also, there is a requirement for spacing. So I just need to define these things first. Uh, also, overall spacing, the center to center spacing, uh, spacing must be greater than or equal to two, thir two and two thirds uh, times the bolt diameter. Two and two thirds times the bolt diameter. And this is just for access with a wrench, for wrench access. However, the code actually says, if you read carefully, uh, it says that three is prefer preferred. You can, you are, you are allowed to use two and two thirds, but preferably you will use uh, three. Preferably. That makes things a lot easier uh, when actually building these things. So throw, throw an iron worker a break and use uh, three times the diameter if you can. Uh, three times D. And this is described in section uh, J 3.3 uh, 3 here. Or just uh, chapter uh, J 3.3, yeah. Uh, on page 16 point, let me just go ahead and annotate this as well. This requirement is laid out in the language in um, page 16.1, again, on the 15th edition of the manual, of course, uh, that I've been putting all these videos together under, dash 130, or simply J3.3, the spacing requirements. Uh, sorry, minimum spacing requirements. Uh, then we also have a, com uh, a, a comment on... Uh, uh, let's see, let's, what else we need to describe? We have uh, table J 3.4 for minimum edge distances. Uh, table J 3.4 for minimum edge distances or minimum edge distances. And this is described in section four, but then it references uh, table J 3.4. And then we also have maximum spacing. And edge distances. Past a certain point, if you have your bolts incredibly far apart, the uh, steel manual is gonna say, okay guys, well past a certain point, uh, when you're making assumptions that these things have the same load on them, well, if your bolts are many feet apart, well, that those assumptions really start to break down. And if you read the language here, this is found in uh, section uh, J uh, 3.5, 
maximum at space maximum spacing and edge distance uh, this is on just the next page page 16.1-131 uh, and this says the maximum distance from the center of any bolt to the nearest edge of parts in, co in contact shall be six times the thickness of the connecting part under consideration but shall not exceed six inches uh, lovely um, so the nearest edge of parts in contact shall be uh, 12 times thickness. So in other words, they say that LE uh, must be less than or equal to here of 12 times the thickness. 12 times the plate thickness or also less than or equal to 6 inches. And then it also gives some um, here... The longitudinal spacing of fasteners between elements consisting of a plate and a shape or plate plates and continuous tongue shall be as, as follows. Uh, and it gives some details for painted members, etc., etc. But we don't typically run into those. We don't typically have to worry about maximum spacing. But it is something to be aware of that if you have that you start if you start running into now this doesn't tell you the maximum length of the connection, but it does give you the maximum spacing. But if you're if you're trying to put spit to fasteners more than six inches apart, at some point we have to question your sanity. But so uh, anyway. So uh, anyway, that's the basic idea um, here. Uh, so that, that, that is, of course, the basic idea here for uh, spacing requirements. Uh, later on in the next video, I want to look at uh, bearing, uh, sorry, uh, shear capacity of bolts. But that, those are some basic requirements for spacing in terms of bolt design. All right, that'll do, that will do it for this portion of the video. And as always, thank you.